Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Simeona Swings In. Uh, I decided that I'd do something a bit different today. I normally do my splits and stretching and all that before I go to bed, so I thought I would film this video while I do that. Um, it's only going to be a fairly short video. Well, actually it's probably going to be... I don't know how long it's going to take me to get through all the stretching and all that. I don't know if I'll include all of it in the video, but... Um, yeah, the reason for making this video is that it's my one year faniversary. Uh, it's the one year, I mean, for Americans, um, they usually use fanny to mean the other side of the body, but um, in Australia and in England, the fanny is what they call the front bottom, or the, uh, the vagina, basically. So, um, yeah, it's my one year faniversary, one year to the day. That I had SRS, so um, yeah. In order to celebrate that, I thought I'd do this video and it'd be something special. Um, also, for for a special thing for the day, uh, if you go to the link below for the Quagars album Evolver, which was the concept album about the whole transition, um, yeah, you can get a fifty percent discount. You just have to put in the word anniversary. Uh, I'll put it's basically it's anniversary with an F at the front. Uh, I'll write it down in the description so you can just. I don't know. I don't know if you can copy and paste or whatever. But anyway, um, yes, yeah, so there'll be a fifty percent discount on that, and it's just for the day. So, yeah, if you're watching this video on the eleventh or the twelfth or the, possibly even the tenth, I don't know. It depends on what time difference because of the time difference and all that. It may be actually still on the eighth or the tenth. It'll or there'll be overlap, but yeah, by the eleventh, I'd say it's pretty much going to be over. So if you're watching the video after the after the 9th of September 2018, don't bother with the code. Um, so yeah, anyway, I better go with my stretching. Um, and uh, while I do this, I'm just going to try and talk as much as I can about the, um, the whole experience um, of the surgery and all that, obviously. I don't really need to hear about what it's like to stretch. You can stretch along if you want. Uh, and experience that for yourself. Um, I'm not going to be all looking all the way down there for a lot of this video because it's kind of awkward. And so yeah, it's been a year. Um, everything's healed up nicely. Um, I'm really happy with it. It's actually kind of weird to sort of think back to what it was like prior to surgery. Um, and, you know, I still remember hating what I had, but to actually try and remember what I had or how it looked and all that. Um, yeah, that's kind of gone, which is great. Um, I still occasionally get what they call phantom penis, where you feel like it's there. Um, but again, I can't really remember what it was. I mean, I could always say I can remember what it looked like, but I can't really... Yeah, it's odd. Um, odd like that. So I can use that hand, so I can't like it. Oh, here we go. No. <laughs> Lost my balance. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm sort of dilating once a day. Um, I was still doing it twice a day up until the um, knocks. Not knocks. The Mafra Gymnastics competition that this video of on here, no, it's obviously on video of me dilating in Mafra, but uh, just because it was going to be too hard to do it twice a day while I was up there, you know, sharing the house and all that. Um, and in a room with, with other people, it was just awkward. So, yeah, uh, I haven't had any issues because of that, and it hasn't sort of all tightened up or anything. And, uh, yeah, at the moment, for those playing along at home, I'm currently watching Smoky Mountain Wrestling while dilating, which was a company run by Jim Cornette in the 90s. It's where people like Al Snow and Kane got their, their start in wrestling, basically. It's uh, really interesting. It's sort of more of a hard-hitting southern style of wrestling but you're probably not all that interested in hearing about that 
check you out, you can find it on, on YouTube and watch that for yourself. But, um, yeah, I mean, I've had a few different things that I've watched while, while dilating. Uh, initially it was gymnastics competitions because I worked out that a, a rotation was roughly the 20 minutes that I needed. Um, then it was episodes of Mock the Week or QI or um, one of Charlie Brooker's various weekly wipe, um, screen wipe, game wipe. The guy does a lot of wipes. I never tried with, with his other show, Black Mirror, though. I think that would be an odd thing. And again, the timing would be weird. Because of the comedy shows, they also go for about 20 minutes. They all work out pretty well. So, um, yeah. Now what else can I really say? Um, obviously all the dysphoria that I had about that part of the body is gone. You know, every occasionally I'll still have days where that, you know, I think my face is not looking as feminine as it could. I've not got any makeup. I don't usually wear makeup, so. Um, but, you know, everybody think has their bad days and good days and all that. The floor's not that clean. I can't actually touch it with my nose. But, um, well, I do it just to show off in the video. Fuck it. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, um, I shouldn't have done that, now I forgot what I was talking about, but, um, yeah, so I still get dysphoria about certain things and all that, but for a sense my dysphoria is gone, really, because most of it was down to that area, and now it's, um, yeah, I don't really have that problem anymore. And this is going to look weird on because there's not really a lot of space. But Feel free to stretch along at home. <laughs> or don't, actually. I don't want to be responsible for anyone hurting themselves. But... didn't think this through how hard it's going to be to actually hold up any kind of conversation while doing this. Which is, I'll do this facing the camera just because I can, I don't sort of have to keep turning around. So yeah, um, back to the whole actually trying to talk while doing this. Um, yeah, it's been a great year. Um, as far as, yeah, the whole healing process really was quite quick. Um, based on what other people had told me, um, I kind of knew what I was getting into. Uh, the fact that I was able to get back to gymnastics training after only, what was it, three weeks? It was, um, not three weeks, three months. Um, you know, it's, um, it's all really been, uh, been good. And I'm going to stop stretching now so that I can actually talk. Uh, what the, just so I don't look too awkward. <laughs> um, yeah, so... It's been a good. It's been a good experience. Um, if you go back and watch the videos, the whole playlist. Why am I pointing over there? It's not over there. That's there's a couch there. In case you're wondering. Um, yeah, you can go back and watch the videos of the. Obviously, I didn't film the operation because I was asleep. But um, the whole experience of while I was over in Thailand and, and all that. But yeah, I've got no complaints. 
it's turned out great. I'm really happy with what I've got down there now. Um, it's, you know, I'm happier than I actually could have ever really have thought that I'd be. Um, you know, just it's, yeah, it's one of those, it's such a, when you think about it, it's such a sort of small thing. <laughs> Um, when you consider that I'm six foot three and it's like just this tiny part of my body <laughs> but it just makes me that much happier to, with what I've got now as opposed to what I used to have and yeah it's um, it's all healed up really well I think I've said that a bunch of times in this video <laughs> and I don't really know what else to say other than I don't know if you've got any questions maybe post them down below unless if you don't have any questions then don't ask them and if you've enjoyed this video I don't really know how because it's going to be one of the more awkward ones that I've done but maybe you have maybe you just like watching people stretching I don't know <laughs> um, but yeah please um, check out the album if you haven't already um, if you can't get in now and get that discount then good for you and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and you'll see me next time. <laughs> and now I'm going to try and press the button. This is always awkward. I always end up doing this sort of... There it is.